Everybody is talking about Bronco Mountain. It's behind us. If you come to the North American International Auto Show, you can take a ride on Bronco Mountain with a professional driver. I think this is so very cool. It is a huge metal and wood structure, and it lets you experience what it feels like when a Bronco goes climbing, crawling, and taking on obstacles. You also learn about Bronco's GOAT mode, which means go over all terrain. The mountain is powered by hydraulics and you will come down that hill at 38 degrees. Now, the goal of this is to give people an experience of off-roading, but you will be right here inside Huntington Place. One of the, again, new innovations yeah. for the return to the Detroit Auto Show. Let's head to Brian Abel. He's hanging out in Jeep tonight. Brian? Dave, Carolyn, exciting developments throughout the auto show, especially here at Jeep. Obviously, electrification is the way of the future. And joining me now, Tavon Brooks. Tavon, you are VP of Jeep brand. Just how important is electrification to the vision of Jeep? It's very important, but um, but for us, it's, it's not just about compliance. It's about the value that we can provide to the customer. We provide something that's fun to drive, that's almost quiet, quiet operation, that's very fuel efficient. And so our, our customers really love the, the poor value technology we have. And in fact, Wrangler is the number one selling plug-in in America today because of that. Yeah. Did you ever think that there would be a Wrangler that was EV? Yes, <laughs> in short. I mean, we, we all are moving there, and it, but for us, it's about capability. And that instant torque that you get is unmatched from a nice, a nice vehicle. So. Now, for those that may not be familiar with how a Jeep feels, they can get in one here inside Huntington Place. Right, for the very first time we have Camp Jeep and uh, indoor um, off-road park where people can actually go experience what it's like to go off-road in a Jeep vehicle. They can experience articulation, ground clearance. We have a mountain that's a 23 foot tall mountain that they can go up at a 45 degree angle. Um, so yeah, just come check us out, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try to squeeze it out of you. Yeah. Will we have a fully electric Wrangler coming to us? I can't really talk about future product. <laughs> But we did, but we did debut two new bevs uh, earlier this month: uh, the Recon and the Wagoneer S, and that will come in uh, 2024. To look forward to that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So much to look forward to with a Jeep brand. Tavon Brooks, really yeah. appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. You know, tonight's event has a huge focus on charity, which is so very important. The charity preview raises millions of dollars for six local nonprofits. Alex Bahu joins us with more on how tonight's gala will help others in our great city. Alex? You know, that's right, Carolyn and Dave, here at the Charity Preview. We love the fashion, we love the vehicles, but tonight is also about these six charities that are benefiting from this spectacular fundraiser. I was lucky enough to catch up with one of them, that's the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan, and see the work that they're doing across communities. Before Philip Simpson was creating smiles across Detroit with his art, he was a kid growing up at Seven Mile in Hoover, uncovering his passion. In my neighborhood, there was a, um, a Boys and Girls Club that I attended as a kid off Shainer, and it was actually one of my first art classes. I was always there, and uh, it was just played a part in just building me up as a, as a young kid. Now, decades later, he's back with Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan, a testament to the impact of the organization. I'm here now as a father, as a mentor, as an artist, and my kid is inside drawing with the Boys and Girls Club kids. It feels really good. For nearly 100 years, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan has empowered local youth. Boys and Girls Club, we're all about economic mobility, which means the youth will leave our clubs, career, startup, and homeowner ready. And the organization's recent merger with Pony Ride, a small business incubator, has taken their programming to the next level. Tenants running out space in the club locations, many of them passing valuable skills on to the kids. Entrepreneurship is not a curriculum. It's really an environment, it's a culture, it's a language, it's a network and a connection that our youth need to really find that pipeline uh, and, and grow as entrepreneurs. Creative Trent Garçons says he's thankful for his growth within the club ecosystem. I was in here like every day, kind of like five days throughout the week. Like um, they was helping me as far as like the business side of things. And it's people like Philip who are right there encouraging Trent as a mentor and friend. 
He just gave me a different perspective on how I can take my art. Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan is one of six charities benefiting from tonight's charity preview, the funding critical to the organization's mission. We want what happens in these four walls to permeate throughout the entire community and lift up the entire community and ultimately lead to economic revitalization for these neighborhoods. And a push for more of those full circle success stories that are certainly something to smile about. We're just gonna keep it going, keep the smiles going, keep the energy going, and know that you can change the world with one smile at a time. And of course, I'm still smiling just thinking about all of the wonderful work that they do in all of these charities, so deserving. Carolyn and Dave, back to you. Abs absolutely, Alex. The Boys and Girls Club, I mean, they yeah. keep kids out of trouble. Right. They inspire them about their future, just so important for our community. And that's why this night is so important as well, so we can help those individuals advance. So much to see and do on the show floor. Next, we take you inside Cadillac Special Electric Theater. That's next.